It's good to go. So you'll notice I actually just, I have three files that are, I'm only looking at two files right now, right? I'm looking at file number three and file number two. That file number one, I didn't actually close. Uh, I just, it's not currently in a window. So the next step to look at is you can actually have more files open than you have windows, which is what we're dealing with right now, right? We only have two windows, but there's three files that are currently open. There's a couple of ways to just change what file you're looking at in the current window if it's already open. By the way, these windows are called buffers. That's how they'll be referred to. And if you look at the Emacs cheat sheet, it says buffers. It means one of these windows. So if I want to switch this back to the file that was there before, so the original file, just called new file, there's a couple of ways I can do it. Uh, the way I like to use is doing control X followed by either the left or right arrow key. That'll start cycling through all the available buffers. You'll notice this is actually the welcome buffer, the one we got at the beginning. It's not the one I want. I can keep going, and eventually I will get back to the buffer I want. It'll always tell you what the name of the current buffer is down here. So again, this buffer is called new file. If I do that control X cycling through again, so new file three, new file two, and then all of those special buffers. Anything with a star like this is like a special systems buffer. That's just stuff that's always open. Um, some of those are useful, some of them are not slash. So, to switch files in a single window if they're already open, you can just do control X and then either the left or right arrow keys, it'll just start cycling through. You can also do control X B, which will say, give me the name of the buffer you want to switch to. So, the other buffer in this case is, by default, it's, uh, we have one other one that's not currently open, so it's saying by default it'll do that. Uh, if I just hit enter, it'll do whatever the default is. So if I hit enter, it'll switch me back to the other one. Control X B again. This time the default will be again that one that's not open. Enter, it'll switch back to that one. So the left and right arrow keys work great if you have a small enough number of buffers and you can get to them quickly. If you have, you know, tens of files open, maybe you don't want to split through all of them, then you can do Control X B, type in the name of the file you want, and it'll pull up. Control X B is different from Control X F. You can only open something with Control XB if you've already opened it in Emacs, right? You can't open something that we haven't already opened in Emacs once. Uh, if you want to see a list of all the available buffers, so everything you have open, Control X, Control B will essentially show me a list of everything I have. So it's the three text files and then these special ones that are just always there. And then you can do Control XB to you know, choose one of those. So I can give you a file two and open it over here. I can come back to here. And when you have this list open, you can actually just hit enter on one of these and it'll open it. So if I scroll down here to scratch and hit enter, it's going to open up that one. Uh, so you can kind of use it like a little file browser by going to whatever one you want, hitting enter, and it'll open it. Questions on splitting windows, on opening buffers, switching between buffers, so on. Okay, let's start looking at some of the code-specific things. Uh, is there a way to close a buffer without closing the Emacs entirely? Yes, that's a good question. So let's say uh, I'm done working with new file three, I want to close it. I actually don't do this a lot because you're rarely in a situation like where you really need to be like, who cares if the file's still open, right? If I save it, I don't necessarily need to close it. Uh, but sometimes you do want to close it. If you want to close it, the command is control X K. You'll see down here, it'll say kill buffer, default new file three. Same kind of deal. If um, if this file hasn't been saved and I go to, well, we'll do it twice. So right now, well, the file probably hasn't been saved. Let's see if it prompts me. So if I give it a Y, no. okay, so it's not a Y, it's just, it's asking me from the name of the buffer to kill. By default, it's the one you're currently in. So if I just hit enter, okay, so it's going to say it's modified, do you want to kill it anyway? So if I kill it right now, I'm going to lose this file. I've never saved it, right? I've created a new file without saving it. It's not actually on my disk yet. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to do Control X, Control S. That's going to save the file. Then I'm going to do Control X, K again. Enter. And it's gone. You'll notice that on the list of open files, there is, oh, it cannot fail. It's still there. <laughs> It's not actually still there. I don't know why it's still listed, actually. That's a good question. But if you notice when I cycle through things, we never actually get to it. 
there's new file two, there's new file, there's new file two again. We have closed new file three, it just hasn't updated that buffer list yet. Um, I could do it again, control X K on this one. Again, this one isn't saved, I'm gonna say no. Control X, control S will save it. Control X K, yes I do want to kill it. And so on and so forth. I'm gonna go back to one window because my screen's not very big. But now we're down to just this one file. And if I update the list. Okay, so if I do control X, control B again, it updates it. And you'll see now there's only one file open. We close two and three. Right? So control X, K allows you to kill buffers without closing all of the Emacs. So you can essentially, it's closing individual files. Any other questions on using buffers, having multiple files open, switching between them? having multiple windows open, switching between them. 